It's flu season. People getting the Rona. Mm-hmm. Whatever blend, whatever uh, special blend, <laughs> right? Coffee house blend of Rona we got going on right now. Artisanal. I'm already starting. Yes, it's artisanal became because it came from a local pig farmer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, with a tattooed pig. <laughs> right. Yes. That we had one. an ignorant tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the swine flu, though. <laughs> oh yeah. That's H one N one. What was I thinking? <laughs> but anyway, um, that's that's the one during which, when I was young and dumb, I licked the railing at the Eastern Idaho State Fair. Uh huh. Yeah. So. I'm at a convenience store this week and waiting in line, waiting my turn. Go. He bags up my stuff. He does this. He does the back of the hand nose wipe. Gross. Grabs the bag, hands it to me. And I'm, to be honest, horrified. Yeah. And and of course, he's, you know, You can just see that little and a half. snail trail of snot on his finger. Right. Ew. So I just have no choice but to take the bag that's being handed to me. As I reach in to get closer to him to grab the bag, he goes, <coughs> and I'm just like, dude. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? And that's how I met Yorona. <laughs> you know, thanks a lot. <laughs> you mean my just... Sharona? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm fine. That was like a few days ago. I'm yeah. fine. But just what, PSA? <laughs> Be careful. Be yeah. nice. Yeah, don't be gross. Recognize and and you know you know where the flu comes from. Oh, the real villain of this story. Yeah. Children. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, quick tangent on that. Similar to your story, because I work retail, I see so much that people who are just walking through the store don't even think about. Like first of all, every plushie in my store has been manhandled by a disgusting child at least once. <laughs> you know, and, and like there are kids. Way to really sell the merch. <laughs> the thing is that there are kids that walk through that are very clearly like well kept and not gross and you know, they look like good, normal, healthy children. And then there are some who look feral, yeah. you know, whose parents haven't bathed them for days or something. I don't know how a kid gets that dirty, honestly. The, the ones with the green... Yeah. Like, oh, okay. those are the worst. Or like... You know they how have in weird, Demon Slayer, when they they're have, sleeping... They like, weird blotches of something on their face, and it's like, what is on you, kid? And they get the snot bubble? Yes. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, just gross. So gross. <laughs> um, but yeah, there have been several times when after a kid has left, I have taken whatever they've touched and just cleaned it because I'm like, ew, gross, disgusting, and not having that, you know? You know, uh, they talk about donating things to teachers. <laughs> they should donate Clorox wipes to retail stores. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Or at least yeah. they should make that a much bigger cost of doing business. <laughs> or maybe you should just wash your groceries. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. You know what? Yeah, let's let's pass the cost on to the consumer. <laughs> but you're right. The true villain of the story is children. And I don't know if you remember when we were at the fair, there was actually a story that I really wanted to tell during that uh, pod that I totally forgot about because I suck. Okay. But you and I were in li- we were in line to get the hula Barbie um, from the snow cone shack. Yes. And in front of us was this family. They had like probably four small kids i think the oldest was probably a youngest couldn't have been more than two or three so not enough to watch while to attentively watch while you're ordering snow cones no and their youngest the entire time had his hands shoved as far down the back of his pants as possible just rooting around in there i don't know what he was doing Mm mm-hmm but it could not have been good. It feels good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it felt good to him, but it did not look good to me. It oh, looks man. so gross. And then, let me guess, yes. mom hands him the snow cone. Well, I, I pointed uh, it out to you because I was disgusted the whole that's time. That's right. Yeah. And yeah, mom hands the kid the snow cone. And I think like kid eats it with his hands or something. Kid, Kid's gross. Okay. <sighs> but I remember at one <laughs> point, I think the kid spilled some on his hand and dad like licked it off of his hand. And also, oh, before the kid even got the snow cone. That's how they get you. Right? And even before dad got the snow cone, or even before the kid got the snow cone, dad picked up kid and put him on the back on his shoulders. And immediately the kid's hands were all over his face right next to his nose and mouth. Well, I would like to hope that kids and parents have extremely great immune systems. I would just say if that kid had pinworms, dad has them too now. Oh, man. Uh Uh-huh. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, <laughs> that's our show. Wash your kids' hands. <laughs> wash your kids' hands and watch your kids' hands. Because seriously, the places they go. 
<laughs> oh, the places they'll go. <laughs>